All right, the Congressional Budget Office estimates that one out of every 40 American soldiers wounded in action in Iraq and Afghanistan suffered a major loss of a limb. When stateside, these heroes often have to work very hard to find their new normal. One veteran is sharing his inspirational story of the healing power of yoga. Guys up, warrior two. Dedicated yogis can talk for hours about the nuance of the warrior pose. But yoga is not exactly a practice one would closely associate with warriors themselves. Two years ago, if you would have told me, one, I'd be practicing yoga, and two, teaching it, I would have probably thought you were certifiable. Absolutely insane. Release your hands. Army Staff Sergeant Dan Nevins lost both of his legs in Iraq more than a decade ago. Searching for a way to move forward, he found yoga. For the first time when I took my legs off, I'd been floating above that ground for a decade, and there was something magical about just getting reconnected to being just a human being. Nevin hopes to inspire others like him to find their namaste, too. Now a certified teacher of Baptiste yoga, he leads hour-long classes in rooms heated to nearly 100 degrees. At his class this week, two congressmen promoting yoga to heal wounded veterans. Well, we lose 22 vets a day to suicide, and you know my mission is to is to reduce that number. And I don't care what technique, what approach uh, is needed to do it. As for Nevins, you can find him helping wounded warriors master the warrior pose. Nevins partners with the Wounded Warrior Project to share his story. For more information and how you can help, go to Wounded Warrior Project. Dot org. And we have to give a little disclaimer for the photog who was out there, Rick Cockerham, great guy to work with, right. been out a lot of stories with him. The video wasn't blurry, although it looked like that inside that yoga studio. It was because it was so hot. It was over yeah. 100 degrees, and the lens was fogging up. So, Rick, we appreciate it. That was combat pay, if I've ever heard it.